What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me today for another awesome Planet Fitness workout. My name is Corey, and I'm a Planet Fitness trainer. Now, it's such a great day to work out. Remember, whether you're in club or at home, no matter where you are, you can get this workout done. If you are in the club, please remember to be clean considerate, clean your equipment before and after each use. Also practice social fitnessing, giving yourself plenty of space between you and others so that everyone can gym confidently. Now I'm gonna be in the 360 area today. We've got a full body workout for you, focusing on two different movements in two rounds, one with strength and strong fundamental movements, and the other with cardiovascular endurance to give you the best of both worlds. Now first things first here, y'all, let's get right into this warm up. All right, so my hands are gonna go on my hips and we're gonna do some runners in place here, just bringing those knees up ever so slightly just to get that heart rate up and going and moving. All right, so we're gonna be here for a few seconds, all right? Make sure you're focusing on some really good breathing all the way through. I'm on my toes here, now you can see my knees are coming up just a little bit. On oh, my toes, I'm getting those calves nice and warmed up. The legs are moving, getting my heart rate going just a little bit here, all right? Nice job. Knees are going up and down, just a little bit here. Deep breaths in, and big breath out. A few more seconds here, three, two, one. All right, so now we're gonna get the hips, core, arms, everything kind of warmed up. We're gonna go into a side lunge, and reaching down to our toes here. Now your depth is totally up to you. Whatever y'all can do here, whatever feels good. All right, you can go all the way down, Breathe in, touch that toe. Nice smooth motions here. If you really want to get that heart rate going, you can speed those up and go a little bit faster here all the way through. But always remember to go at your own pace. All right, I'm gonna do a few more here. Three, two, one, come back to center, and that's time. So now we're gonna do some more active stretching movements. We're gonna go down and touch our toes and come up and stretch out at the top. We're gonna to go down and touch our toes, come up, open up, and stretch out at the top. Nice job. Simple movements here, stretching out the posterior chain all the way through with that upper back and chest. Breathe in, stretch, open up. Nice job, y'all, all the way through. Remember your range of motion is totally up to you. Whatever feels good. If you can't go as deep as me, that's all right. No big deal, breathe in. Breathe out and stretch. We're going to do a few more here. Big breath in. Open up and stretch. Nice job. We're going to go one more round through those. Hands are going to go back into the hips. And we're going to go into our runners here. All right. Nice job. We're moving and grooving here. All right. Big deep breaths in. And breathe out. Nice work, y'all. All the way through. Just little bitty movements here. Low impact. All right. You can always. Get those knees moving, you can modify those. We're just getting the legs warmed up, nice and moving here. All right, a few more seconds here, three, two, one. All right, so now we're gonna go right back into our side lunge here with that toe touch. Feet are just going straight out, parallel to each other. Find your own pace and breathing that works for you. Go to whether your depth all out, okay? So if you can only go to your knee here, that's no big deal. Nice smooth movements if you wanna pick that up and really keep that heart rate going. That's no big deal, go at your own pace, all right? Nice job. Side to side here. We're gonna do a few more, all right? Three, two, one, awesome. We're gonna come right back up to center. We're gonna go back to that active stretching, go down, come up and stretch. Awesome job, y'all. Breathe in, breathe out, nice job. Y'all are doing so good. All the way through. Breathe, breathe in, and breathe out, nice job. Do a few more, bend those knees, stretching the hamstrings and glutes. Come up, stretch that upper back out. We're gonna do one more here. Breathe in, arms up top, and breathe breath out. All right, nice job. So we're gonna go right into this workout. Now, I've got dumbbells with me here today. If you don't have that, you've got your water bottles and your body weight, just move along with me, and I'll provide you modifications along the way, all right? Now, first things first, I'm gonna load these up at my shoulders. I've got my squat stance, and we're gonna do some squat thrusters here. All right, nice job. Breathe in at the bottom, and breathe out at the top. Nice job, y'all. Big breath in, and breathe out. Now, if you can't squat all the way, no big deal. You can just go down, bend your knees, and press that weight, whatever you have access to at home, 
just over your head, all right? Nice job. We're gonna do a few more here. Three, two, one. All right, so now that weight is gonna come down. And I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna follow that shin line down. I'm hinging out my hips, we're gonna come up into a bicep curl. All right, y'all, awesome job here. Nice work. And we're gonna deadlift. Okay, hips go back, bending the knees slightly, following that shin line on the way down, and curl at the top. Awesome job, y'all. Breathe in, come up, and breathe. And nice, good bicep curl here all the way through. All right, nice job. We've got a few more to do here. Big breath in. And breathe out. Now remember, these are slow, fundamental strength movements. All right, we're taking our time. We're in no work for you to get these done. All right, one more here. All right, so we're going to go back down. We're working our back now. And we're going to do some bent over rows. All right, y'all, nice job. Now I'm going to turn towards the front so you can see my arms and how they're moving. You can go out a little bit. You can modify your grip. Remember to always do what feels comfortable for you. I'm going to breathe in at the bottom. I'm going to breathe out and I'm going to squeeze my back. Hold there for a second. Nice job, y'all, all the way through. Really good breathing, extremely important. Remember, go at your own pace. Take a break if you need it. All the way through. All right, we're gonna do a few more here. Three, two, one, and that's time. Nice job. All right, so I'm gonna put my legs over here on the side. We're gonna work the chest now. We've got that full body workout. Now we're gonna do some push-ups. Now I'm gonna start off with an easy modification. So my knees are on the ground, my feet are up here. I'm gonna go into a push-up and down. All right, nice smooth motions here, y'all. We're going to put your depth will allow you to. We go down about halfway. That's no big deal. We're still working the chest, the shoulders, and the arms. All right, nice smooth reps here all the way through. Remember, if you want to make those harder, bring those knees up off the ground. A nice one big push up. You can even do as many of these as you can do. And if I burn out, I can drop those knees, raise the feet up, and finish out your toes back. All right, nice job. Y'all take a break if you need it. Remember, all the way through, breathe in. Three down, push. We're gonna do a couple more here. Three, two, one. All right, so we've got the upper body tackle with some legs. We're gonna do some core action activation here. We're gonna to go into a hollow hold. So arms are gonna come back, legs are gonna go up in the air. And the more that you open these up, the more that you will challenge your core. So if you will make these easier, the more that you close these off, the more easier this will be. We have a good breathing all the way through, especially with the abdominals. Alright, we're just going to hold this position all about stress. Alright, so we can hold this all the way down here. If you can't anymore, bring that back in, hold that position, and we're to that tension. Alright, so we're going to do this for a few more seconds. We're going to hold this up here. Three, two, one, and that's time. Alright, nice job. We also have some run. That's round one. We've got a little bit of a break here. Grab some water if you need it before we get on into this next round. We're going to turn it up here so we got a little bit of cardio, so everything's going to be a little more fast paced, okay? All right, now I'm going to show y'all around with some water bottles so that y'all can see you can use anything that you need to to get this workout done, okay? Now let's get going. So, first things first, we're going to go into that squat stance and we're going to go into some dumbbell, kettlebell swings or whatever you have access to at home we're hinging at the hips working those foot delts and shoulders and getting everything activated and moving here nice breath in and breathe out nice job y'all all the way through in. breathe out nice job in breathe out nice job y'all all the way through remember use whatever you have access to at home it's no big deal. Just keep moving with me all the way through. We're gonna a few more of these here, y'all. Three, two, one, and that's time. All right, so I'm gonna stay in this wider stance here. We're gonna go into some uppercuts, all right? Ready? Here we go. All right, breathe in, and breathe out. We're gonna twist in that motion, getting our core and our hips activated here, and pivoting those feet as we move. Now you can also stand more concrete here and just punch up across the body 
<laughs> takes a little bit of balance out of it, makes it a little bit easier all the way through. You want to step those up, get the hips involved, you can pick those feet. You want to punch all the way through those motions and reach up to the ceiling. Nice job, y'all. We're going to do one more here on the other side. All right, so now we're going to go into some more active bent over rows. So now what we're going to do is alternate these, activating the obliques and the core along with the other parts. This exercise for eight our back, all right, one at a time. Big breathing here in, out. Remember, there's no specific pace. Find whatever works for you. All the way through the workout, take breaks. If you need it, no big deal, okay? All right, nice job with alternating these, keeping this down, working our core and our back together. Nice job for y'all, we're gonna do a few more. All right, three, two, one. And that's time. All right, so we're gonna drop our weights here. We're gonna go back into our chest and our abs on the floor, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back into my push-up position. Easy way here first, move this around the ground. I'm gonna go off to the side and push up each time. Y'all can kind of see my hands just go off to the side. I'm gonna go with your range of motion pull out. Even just going with that strafing motion back and forth, just getting that more active movement Keeping that heart rate elevated. All right, nice job. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out all the way through. Nice job, y'all. Doing so good. We're take breaks if you need it. Get water if you need it all the way through. I'm going to just jump right back in. You can do a nice job over You can do these with your feet. If you want to make these a little bit harder, we're going to do a couple more. Three, two, one, and that's nine. All right, so we're going to go right back into a variation of that hop hold. Just a more active movement, just to keep our heart rate up. All right, so knees are going to come up, hands are up in the air, opposite arm and leg. We're going to go and reach just like a plank reach, set it upside down here. And then, we're going to reach out to all the way through. And then, we breathe out really good for that core stability here. All right, breathe in. Out. All right, nice job. We're gonna do a few more. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, y'all. Nice job. So that's gonna be our cardio round. We're halfway through here. We're gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna get some water. Join me if you want to. All right, remember to take a break as long as you need it. You can always hop back in with me whenever you want to. All right, so we're gonna go back into our strength round. And we're gonna start off right again with our squat thrusters here. All right, one, nice job. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Pressing just directly over the side. Remember your range of motion is all up to you. So if you can get about a half squat in there, no big deal. Take your time on these. Big breath in. And press. Awesome job. Y'all are doing so good here. Got a few more to do. All right, three. Two, one, all right, nice job. So we're gonna narrow that stance out. We're gonna go into our deadlift here, falling forward. We curl at the top, nice job. Breathe in, follow your shin line on the way down, and breathe out at the top. You're doing an awesome job. Nice smooth motions here, no hurry. All right, so all strong fundamental movements. Just working a bunch of body parts together at once. All right, nice job. Breathe in all the way down. Keep that chest out and your head up and curl that weight the biceps at the top. Nice job. We're gonna do a couple more here. All right, last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right. So now we're gonna go back right into our back here. We're hip hinged. Go into a bent over. Okay, the head is up, the chin is up, keeping that airway open so we can keep that oxygen. Flowing. All right, y'all, nice job. Doing really good here. Big breath in. Breathe down and squeeze. Nice job, y'all, all the way through. Breathe in here. And breathe out and squeeze. Nice job. You're going to feel this in your legs, hamstrings, all in the back here, y'all. You're doing so good. All the way through. Three, two, one, and that's time. Awesome. All right, so we got the last two exercises for our strength round. 
We're back on the ground. We're working our chest and our abs again. Okay, so now we're just into a regular push up. Easy way here, we want to keep our tail in down and as flat as possible. We're going to fall into that push up here. Our hands are right under our shoulders. Elbows go out just slightly here to our side. Breathe in, breathe out, and push. This is just like a plank position as well. If you come down, keep that tail in down, we're working the core passively. Awesome job, y'all. Breathe in. Breathe out and push. We're going to do a few more here, all the way through. Three, two, one. And that's time. All right, so now we're going to finish this round with our core. We're back in our hollow hold here. All right, so hands are up. We're going to fall a little bit behind us here. We'd like to go out. Like I said before, the more that you can open this up, the harder this exercise, the more that you close this off, the less tension you will feel. Totally go to whatever you bring the motion to all out. We're holding this motion for just a few seconds. Do a nice job, y'all. You know, we're going all the way up if you need to. Just to go down harder. If you want to relieve that tension, you can come back to the middle if you need to. To give yourself a bit of all right? We're going to hold this for a few more seconds here. Three, two, one. And that's time. Awesome job, y'all. So that's round three here. So last round here is our cardio round. So we're gonna finish really strong. Okay, keep that heart rate going. Get some water if you need it. Take a break as long as you need to. And you can always hop back in right where you need it. All right, now I'm gonna use my dumbbells this time for this round. All right, remember, use whatever you have at your disposal so that you can get this workout done as well. We're gonna go into some kettlebell dumbbell swings or water models, whatever you've got access to. All right, you can even use your body weight. Just the simple swinging motion is good enough to get that body working and we're gonna keep that heart rate going. All right, nice job, y'all. Nice smooth motions here, working the legs and shoulders again. All right, breathe in. Breathe out, nice job. All the way through here. We're gonna do a few more here, three. Two, one, and that's time. All right, so we're gonna stay in this stance here. We're gonna get the shoulders, the core, and the hips going. We're gonna go into some thrusters here, or some uppercuts across the body. We're pivoting the foot, to get those hips activated. We work on a little bit of stability as well. Breathe in, and breathe out. Nice job, nice good pace here. Remember, you can do this with your body weight, the water bottles. Whatever you've got access to here, you can squat that stance just to hold off a little bit of balance here and modify that to make it a little easier. Nice job, y'all. Doing really good here. A few more. All right, three, two, one. Awesome. So we're going to work our backside here. We're going to go into our alternating dumbbell rows, bent over rows here, water bottles, whatever you've got activating that back and core again. All right, y'all, you're doing so good here. Nice job, just alternating that weight. Go pull that other one, so it comes down to center. And breathe in and out. Nice job, keeping that head up, keep the airway open. Three, two, one more. Awesome job. Got to drop the weights here, whatever you've got. We're gonna go back down to the floor here and finish this workout, okay? So we're gonna go into our push-up position, keeping the hips down. And we're going to activate that movement by moving side to side. Okay, good job. Remember to find your own breathing pace, whatever works for you. Just try to keep that going all the way through the workout. Nice and strong, y'all. All right. Nice and good motions. Move in. Move out. Press back to the center. Move in. Press out. Nice job, y'all. You work here. All right, breathe. Two, one, four, awesome time. Okay, we're gonna finish here with our core. We're activating that hollow hole movement. So our hands are above us here. We're gonna open up the opposite arm and leg. And we're gonna find our own pace. And breathe in, whatever works for you, okay? Breathe in. Breathe out, come back to center. Breathe in. And breathe out, come back to center. All right, good job, y'all. Doing really good here, all right. Let's finish strong. Two 
a few more here. Open that up. Three, four, our hips all the way through. Three, two, one, two, then. Big breath out. All right, drop. Nice job. And way to finish that workout. All right, so we're going to go right into a cool down before we finish here. All right, so I'm going to start off with some simple arm pulls here. We're going to hold these for a few seconds. You can move around if you want to. You can stay still, whatever works for you. All right, so we're going to hold this motion for a few seconds. We're going to come down, open this up. Nice job. Stretching out the arms, the back, making everything feel really good after that awesome workout that y'all just did. Stretch that out. We're going to go to the other arm, both sides a couple of times here. All right. Hold it for a few seconds. Three, two, one. Come down. You can shake it out a little bit here. Stretch this other one here. Lastly. All right. Three, two, one. All right. So now we're going to go into torso twist. A little more active here. All right. We're going to pull the back side of that arm. Back forward hip. Nice and that All right, try to pull that arm, stretch out that upper back. Nice job, y'all. We're going to do a few more here. All right, three, two, one. All right, so now we're going to go into the hands and behind the back. We're going to get that chest out. We're going to lean over and stretch everything out. That's the chain. This is just the hands behind you. Chest out, your head up, ready to go back up. Let's pull, let's stretch that chest out. We're gonna lean right back into that motion. Big breaths in. And breathe out a couple more times. Really just stretch that chest out. All right, one more. Stretch, get that whole back side here stretched out. All right, y'all, big breath in. And breathe out, y'all. All right. Awesome job on finishing the workout today and keeping up with me all the way through. I had such a great workout with y'all today. Remember, we've got all of our other awesome trainers here for y'all Monday through Friday to keep y'all moving all throughout the week. Don't forget to download that Planet Fitness app for touch-free access to the club and our brand new guest sign-ins. My name is Corey, your Planet Fitness trainer, and have an awesome day. Wait.